Oh, they got the they got the oars. What is happening and welcome back to a brand new video. So today what we're doing, we go, go to like a local little car meet. Um, it's called like Heart of England's classic kind of show. Obviously the Teg, I don't think it is an actual classic, but it's like 20 years old, so it's old as fuck. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna have a little walk around there, um, have a little gander, see what's about. And I hope you enjoy the video. So before you do anything, pause it, comment, like, share, subscribe. Likes massively help um, the channel. Like, it's unbelievable. Um, YouTube pushes the videos out, and, that, and obviously that, that is what we want at the end of the channel. So yeah, let's get to the video, and hope you have a good one. <laughs> Yo, look at this. You will never see this again. <laughs> Absolutely mental. Oh, they got the, they got the oars. this look at the size of the caliper and then the tiny little disc look, what's that probably a six spot it's gotta be a six spot in it at least yeah man that's mad so small it's back on that see the back one's kind of adequate because about the same size Ah, 
geht. EP3, personally, the best colour in black, do you reckon? Yeah. Gotta be XXR racing, then there's some ones that are uh, Scottish. No, they have JR. JR. Yeah. Then you've got this, and it's fine. I do like these, to be fair, look proper nice. So I think they're like Enki rep uh, wheels with some Nankang. I like that. Oh, same thing, isn't it? I suppose well the Enki with the ones that first originally did it. And then, uh, yeah, it's nice, man. But, video that one, that looks un unbelievable, man, like, for an aggressive car. We don't do it like that anymore, like, look. Oh, this looks absolutely mental, you know. Oh. I don't even know much about it. GT500. Signed by... Yeah, it depends where you are. Yeah. I did it. We've got this cheeky Honda S2000, man. I need to start knowing more about cars and that, but uh, we've got Enki looking wheels. Um, yeah, they look like genuine ones. Mine's got like, the same kind of stamps that we got there. So we've got some like, semi slick kind of racing tyres. Yeah, man, this looks nice and clean, man. I've heard they're quite dangerous on the road because they're so like thin. They're supposed to uh, snap up. Oh, look at the exhaust, man. That is how you got to have your exhaust, you know, on a jack car. Big, beefy. Jack cannon like that. Um, look at the interior. Man, there's, li what? there's literally nothing in this interior. Where's the radio? Do they not have radios? What? Under that there? Fair though, it looks like a nice place to be though, isn't it? To draw. What you put? Comment down below. What do you think of the uh, dash with the digital? I'm not a mad fan. For the DC4, but I'm just biased. Yeah, man. They're really nice, man. So we'll start with this. This is an Escort Cosworth that's probably worth like stock 50 grand. Look at what this madman has done. From what I can see here, this looks like an LS swap. Where is it? Lower mount supercharger, you say? Probably, well, it's just a supercharger. Oh, oh, that's. I thought that was just the intake. Yeah, it is. Oh, so that bit there is the supercharger on top of it. That is mad. So it's like, obviously, it's prioritised a big, massive, dirty cone over headlights. But man, look at this, is like is this like the perfect escort? Gotta be in it, you reckon. Rear wheel drive. I don't even guess what to say, that's probably what six, seven, maybe eight hundred brake. Big AP racing brakes. Toyo Triple R eight. Look at it, there's just literally nothing inside it, man. I bet that's unbelievable to drive man, I couldn't imagine it. Cheeky fuel lines and all that. Yeah, the only thing left to do for something like this would be a sequential. Yeah. The only next thing. Look at that, man. That is stunning. Big up Tegua. Best in the game for parts. Uh, cheeky little EP3. Um, this ain't Cosmic Grey, is it? And it's like, I don't even know the colours for it. Cosmic Grey is what good metal, isn't it? Oh, is it? I think so, yeah. Fair. Pre it's got to be a preface, doesn't it? It's got to be. Oh, it's not too bad, so yeah. yeah. Indicator delete. Yep, don't need them, especially BMW drivers. Um, yeah. Same. What track is that? Tell me what track that is, Aaron. The big one on the left. What's the, what's the one underneath? That little Laguna Sega. Is it? Honda. Honda. Is it Spa? Oh, Honda RS. A Honda RS, mate. Or a Hondis. It's a Hondis, isn't it? Yeah, man. It's clean. Apart from the indicator delete. Is that uh, Wildy Diff vibes? show you guys because I appreciate everything whether it's Japanese, a boat, a uh, proper old Land Rover, like, look, at, look at the state of that a couple of months ago, absolutely mm -hmm. mental. It's 
not a defender. Look, what did he say it was? A tall one? Series one. A series, series one. one. Series two. Yeah, look, look at it, man. It is. Okay, if I had an off-roader, I'd definitely be smashing around in one of these. So yeah, look, even the plaque on the back, man. Wicked. Oh, no, bad, don't look, don't look too bad now, to be fair. That's a little cheeky eBay badge, apparently it won't last four minutes, but, you know. Um, yeah, can we just take a step floor? Remember this, Sega Rally? Sega Rally, ain't it? We're blasting around on this. Yeah, man, it's got the martini livery. Well, I'm sure the martini one had a bit more, you know. I'm sure I remember having lots of stickers down here, innit? Not when you were rallying it, but... That is mad. I think these are worth 100 pounds, man. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely yeah. mental. Where is that? We'll have to go have a look at that in a minute. Yeah, man, look at that. That spoiler must create some downforce, though. Look, look, at, this. look at the size of that. Look, yo, if that ain't pushing the back end down, I don't know what will. But yeah, man. Proper. <laughs>